Good day, Minecraftians. Purple Mentad here, bringing you episode 71 of my Agrarian Skies Hardcore Quest Let's Play. This game pack by Jidcat is available on the Feed the Beast launcher. One of you requested a time lapse of me using my Digaga, which I've named it in traditional Final Fantasy style, to get the rest of the dirt that I need for dirt gathering quest. I still need another 18 quadru quadruple compressed dirt as I only did one round to get the 20 or so that that did for me. So instead of a time lapse, I'm just going to show you what I have going on in action. Because that was always the plan. Hello, Ghast. Hang on. I got to handle this. Ooh, in the face. You too. Go away. You don't have any of your friends nearby to come help. Ow. I actually got quite hurt from that. That's fun. Okay, so where were we? Oh yeah, I was showing you how my super dig spell is working for me. I actually had to put a whole bunch more item ducks onto this thing just for it to keep up with the kind of dirt that I could dump into it. So I dump the dirt in, it all gets sucked out pretty quickly. And then I just kind of fly out into my open area and I start spamming the spell everywhere. And I get a ton of dirt ridiculously fast. And it doesn't matter, basically, what direction I spam it in, as long as I don't aim back at my, um, back that way, while holding right-click. Yeah, my Tesseract and such. I've taken up all of the quarries and Arcane Boar and everything already, because they no longer serve a purpose. So, I've gotten them out of the way. This is probably the fastest digging that I have ever seen out of any mod. Uh, this is faster than a, well, you would need to do like Quarry Plus to outspeed this. Or maybe a really high class mining um, tunnel bore out of Rotary Craft. And as you can see, I'm getting to the point pretty easily that the server can't quite keep up and neither can the client. So I hold right click for a while. And when I let go, well it takes a while for it to finish that is just awesome let's see how i'm doing on power oh yeah i still have over 9 million and i could have actually upgraded this spell to use less power if i had so chosen i did not choose that let's see what happens if i just keep my pointer in one spot for a while and just fire that direction well besides things lighting on fire because they're going through that bit of lava i'm b b digging a nice tunnel going that way. Whoops. And I am now officially out of room in my inventory. But that doesn't stop it from breaking more dirt and continuing the tunnel from making it. Yeah, this is ridiculous. I love this spell and I am going to be building it again because it is just freaking cool. I'm very happy with this. More and more dirt is still getting fed into my inventory by the spells, the particles that have not landed yet. All right. So that is the amount of time that it takes to gather 315 stacks of dirt, which at 64 apiece is around 20,000 or somewhere around four or five of the quadruple compressed dirt that I need. If I take a look at my quadruple compressed dirt before and after, I'm currently at 83. And if I start dumping this stuff in, which it can barely keep up with the speed that I can dump the diggers backpacks into it, even with all three of these. Yeah, this is pretty intense. Very, very happy with the way this has worked out. Give it a few more seconds, dump the last two in. Nope, did the last one empty? Almost, there we go. And if I keep an eye on dirt, wait for it all to process, yeah, I'm actually dumping dirt into the system faster than the cyclic assembler can take it out of the system. So I'm going to do this for not very much longer as every collection of dirt, every full set of backpacks is three of the quadruple compressed dirt that I need with a little bit left over and I only need another 16. So I'll be back as soon as I'm ready to hand this in. See you soon. All right, folks, we are backed and the digging is done. And because I don't trust myself not to accidentally right click somewhere, 
I'm going to set up a little pedestal for that spell. And we're going to keep you right in there. Oh, I can't actually keep that in there. Okay. That's fine. Oh, wait. Can I right-click it? There we go. You're going to live right there, and that way I will never accidentally use you in my base and accidentally dig up everything that I've done. Though that might be a fun final moment. So, if you take a look at my dirt, I have 101 quadruple compressed dirt, which is way more than I need. And if I grab out my quest book, which I thought was right here, and does not seem to be. Must have gotten accidentally deposited. So, while I was in the... Or not? Well, that's aggravate. Wait a second. Why don't you know how to craft books? You should know how to craft books. That's a little odd. Also, having this many random enchanted books must be coming from the blazes. I don't know why this guy doesn't know how to craft books. He's supposed to. All right. Let me find what happened to my quest book. It must be in an inventory somewhere. Yeah. Yeah, you know how to craft a book. Why can't you craft a book for me? Oh, because it's only showing stored, not stored and craftable. That explains it. Again, I've done that twice now. There's my quest book. Okay. So, we are going to head on over to For the Hoarding. Dirt Collection. Manual Submit. 100 Quadruple Compressed Dirt. We'll take the left-hand reward bag. The Flux and Fuse Shovel has Efficiency 5. I think I have better Efficiency 4 on Breaking 3. I'll, I prefer that. Full Heart brings me to 120 lives, or points, and my Epic Reward Bag contains 4 Ruin of Sacrifice, which I am already full on Ruins of Sacrifice. So, I'm going to just toss you in there for now. Actually, probably forever. All right. I'm going to clean out these enchant books that I have. And I'm going to uncompress my last bit of dirt and turn off my Cyclic Assembler Auto Crafters. I'll keep the dirt collection apparatus going for now. You know, the guys that are composting my dirt. Um, wow, this actually might be an issue getting w this one quadruple compressed dirt uncompressed. Well, it's only, what, 100 stacks? Yeah. So I'll get that uncompressed back into dirt and get my dirt deposited into my system. And I'll be back in just a moment to continue with whatever quest we just unlocked. After realizing that I have 844 compressed dirt and really not wanting to do that all by hand, I decided I am going to... Do it with my AE system, so I've taught it that one compressed dirt becomes nine dirt. And if I look up dirt, hover over this guy and middle click, I can produce seven, well, let's see, 844. Wow, can't type today. 844 times nine is 7,596. So, seven, five, nine, six, begin. And it will quickly convert all of that compressed dirt into regular dirt, and I don't have to do it all by hand. All right, let's check out what we unlocked. So, there are only two quests left in the book. One in the end, well, three. One in the end, and one in bragging rights. In the end, we have Biologist. To complete the Biologist quest, I'm going to need Fish Meal, Incubator Top, Incubator Base, Sawmill, Automatic Fisher, and Fish Sorter. These are all items from Mariculture, and I need to craft all of these. So let's get started on the manual crafting. First of all, our sawmill from Mariculture is created with wood, copper, wooden construction block. All right, that looks like something that I'm going to want to teach my system how to make. So let's grab some oak wood because I have a ton of it. Make myself the wooden construction block. One. Whoops. Blast. I'm going to have to redo that. No problem. So, oak wood and fences gets me wooden construction block. And I already know how to make the invar axe, I believe. Let's see if I have one. No, I do not. That's okay. 
Simple enough to craft one up real quick. And then the construction block. I imagine that this functions very similarly to the sawmill from Therm... Well, actually, I have no idea. This might be the custom... Yes, okay. So what the sawmill does, you can input a block plan and then tell it that you want to create custom blocks out of that texture. For example, I could make, say, a block. I could make some flooring. I could make custom fences. Basically, any texture that you can imagine can go onto any of these blocks, uh, block plans. I'm not 100% certain what a redstone flux block is. That will bear further investigation another time. Let's see what else do we need. Automatic fisher and fish sorter. Now we can find those both easiest by looking up fish. Fish tank. Automatic fisher. It's going to use a little bit of merc uh, one of the mariculture fish. Another wooden construction block. Okay, we'll get back to that in a moment. Fish sorter first. Also going to use one of the fish and a wooden construction block. So let me make myself a couple of those wooden construction blocks. And then it's time to get my hands on some mariculture fish. So if you remember, early on I believe I grabbed myself some of the fish by using the one of these fishing rods plus some bait of your choice. It really doesn't matter which. Well, I mean, it matters. These will tell you what baits they can use. Like the titanium fishing rod can use raw uh, bee baits, bait worms, and raw minnows. Well, I have bait worms here. And I'm going to need a pool of water, which I, don't, I haven't had a proper little pond set up in quite a while. So let me grab a couple of buckets worth of water. Here we go. Two buckets worth is all you need to get a very large pond set up. And I'm going to build myself a little bit of a pond. Oh, you know what? We'll do it right in here. That's a decent spot for it. A little koi pond or something to accent our house with. Um, I needed the shovel. Why did the shovel not come out when I told it to? Hmm. You know what? I want stone to line this, the edges of this thing. Because that will be a better look, I think. That'll work. It's not perfect. It could, it would be a little bit better if I made it one long. Actually, yeah, it would be a lot better if I made it the one longer. Because now not only does the pond come right up to the edge of the path, but also I now have my three by five. Which, as I discussed in the house building episode, is an important number. All right, so to use the fishing rod, it's the same way as a regular fishing rod. The problem is right now, I mean, I'm it's going to get stuck in the bottom. So if I want this to work, I'm going to need to basically stand right here and cast straight up through the uh, roof. That won't work. This might, though. Oh, no, it... Fell too deep, even then. Hmm. All right, I'm bad at fishing. I'm going to see if I can get this to work. I'll be back in a bit. So apparently that was working. So if I just aim straight up through that temporary hole that I've made, cast, it falls back down. And when I get a splash, I just right click. Fantastic. I'm not going to be getting into a full set of fish breeding with Mary Culture. There aren't any challenges that I could use it for anymore. Maybe next time. I got a lily pad. That's kind of neat. Lifespan. Epic or 30,000. All right, so you can get... Oh, that's a raw rainbow trout. That's not what I'm looking for. At least I don't think so. Okay. So let's go make that fish sorter by putting stingray in the middle. And we will grab some more bone meal because I believe it just needs various dyes. 
or does it specifically need dyes of each color? It's going to need a pearl, and it is going to need dyes of each color. Okay, no problem. So I'm sure I have some rose, roses or rose red. There's a rose. We'll get that ground up real quick. Wow, this guy is busy over here. All right. Um, my pearls. So normally to get a pearl, you would need to... Hmm, I'm out of ender pearls. Well, almost. That should wear off sometime soon. I have been burning up an awful lot of them to make me make myself more endurium, but there's no reason that the end spawner and such shouldn't be running. Anyway, normally to get pearls, you would take your pearl oysters and some sand. You can get pearl oysters by fishing. I received some from a quest reward. And if I go over here into my little pond, which is now going to be, I guess, my oyster pond. Hmm, maybe you need to plant these in dirt. Hang on, let me double check this. Okay, so I'm not sure if the oysters actually need to be on dirt or not, but they do need to be underneath the water. They can't be in the same block as the top of the water. Once you have your oysters planted down under there, you just give them a little bit of sand, and over time they will turn that irritant into a pearl, just like a real oyster. Also, as soon as you start feeding sand to your oysters, you get this Sea Witch's Guide by Ursula, which will tell you how to make the basic mirror and some of the things that you can do with your oysters and some of the magical stuff you can get out of your fish drops. All of the jewelry that you can make, the different enchants you can put on that jewelry. Some really cool stuff in here, which I'm going to be very excited to play with, just not in this pack if only because we are very much approaching the finale. So I'm going to let those turn into some pearls, and while they do that, I'm going to get started on getting McOri's set up off screen. Oh, and B Domination finished up between episodes. So a number of you pointed out that I had a whole bunch of drones of a certain type hanging out in my system. Those were the Winsome drones, which, where are they? Where'd they go? Ah, there they are. They're, now they're first because I have everything sorted by number. Uh, these were actually set to my output. It just didn't quite move fast enough, I think. Anyway, I have a ton of drones uh, left over from it because I had my Winsome's. Uh, actually, maybe that's why I'm running out of end pearls. I shut down my Winsome drone production. Hmm. Well... I'm slowly gaining again, so that'll that'll work. Okay, fantastic. Now, all right, those haven't finished yet. They'll take a little while. So I'm going to claim that reward. I'm going to stick my B mastery sign into my extra machines because I don't know where else to put it right now. And I'm going to collect my epic reward bag, which is four more runes of sacrifice. I'm starting to get the feeling that that is an endlessly repeatable reward. And unfortunately, I just, I don't need any more of them. I mean, they're all over the place here already. So I'm going to start in on McOris, and I'm going to set up these fields over here. I'm going to shut off these harvesters by turning off this tesseract. And I'm going to get these three fields set up as the place where all of my, well, actually, technically these four, as the place where all of the plants for McOris will exist. Back soon. All right, here are the things that I need for the first bit of McOris. Cinnamon, which I have a handful of just growing from my sprinkler causing it to go. Bananas, which I left up quite a while ago. Blueberries, gonna get myself some of them. Onions, I'll get a few of each of these things just to be on the safe side. There we go. Bell peppers. You remember I was growing a ton of those for a while just to make dirt. And asparagus. Probably only need one of these, but oh well. Now I have a lot extra. Let's go get some crafting going. So, first of all, well, I can make waffles first things first. I'm going to need a lot of the various Pam's Harvest Craft items. I can't make them that way. 
but I can make them this way. So I'm just gonna make 10 stacks of pretty much everything. Uh, let's see, the water. I want fresh water, fresh milk, both of these, lots of each. Go. Awesome. And salt. Do I have? I'm good on salt. I have overkill on salt. Okay. So, waffles. To make waffles, I need butter. I'm sure I know how to make butter. There's another one that I'm probably going to need a couple stacks of to finish this off. So, we'll grab you, make waffles. I also need to make pancakes. I need to make omelet, which is pretty simple. Well, it's pretty simple when you have the items you need. Do I not have eggs? Oh, I have plenty of eggs. Okay. Omelets. Asparagus quiche. Which is not made that way. It's made very similar. There we go. Except I need butter. And egg. Maybe. Maybe. It's not that butter. That's cheese. I don't have any cheese yet, but that's okay. I can fix that. Make a couple stacks of cheese. Because I'm going to be using it. What's next on the list? Blueberry pancakes, cinnamon rolls, blueberry muffin, banana nut bread. Okay. So the banana nut bread I'm making with chestnuts, which is terrible and wrong and probably shouldn't be done. But I'm doing it anyway because it's the only nut that I have. Oh, it actually won't let me. Good, that's brilliant, because chestnuts are really not a great nut to be adding into bread. So I'm going to need to get myself some walnuts or some butternuts. You know what? I have a walnut sapling handy. Let me go grab that. Back in a minute. Grew myself a walnut tree right outside of my factory, and I'm just going to bone meal the... Huh, I thought I could bone meal these. Maybe I can't. Or maybe that's... You know what? I can't tell if those leaves are actually changing color. However, I did get a walnut when I broke it, so it must be. Yep, that leaf and that leaf look exactly the same. Boo, color blindness bad. Okay, so if I tuck a walnut in there, now I get my banana nut bread. Fantastic. Where was I? I was making blueberry pancakes. So I'm doing most of this on screen rather than off Basically, by request. Oh, there we go. Upgrade the pancakes I already had straight to blueberry. And it works. Alright, where am I at? A lot of people wanted to see, maybe not the whole thing, but at least part partial pro progression. Cinnamon rolls. Alright, how do I make the ground cinnamon? No problem. Where is my cinnamon? Oh, I already have it in there. Good. Excellent. That makes my life so much easier, potentially. Ah, but I need dough. I can make dough. I can make a lot of dough. Make me a stack of dough, because I'm probably going to need it. And blueberry muffin. And as you can see, now that I have that first bit done, hmm, blueberry muffin uses eggs. Thank you. I didn't know I had that kind of blueberry in the system. There, I finished with breakfast. Now, I have to make a whole bunch of different kinds of sandwiches. So, as you can see, this is not a quick or fast quest. I just wanted to show you guys how much there is to it. I'm probably going to need to upgrade this chest to actually hold everything, even. So, I'm going to continue on that between this episode and the next one. And once I have it all done... Then I'll show you guys all of the food items that I had to craft to make it happen and the hand in. For now, two of my pearls are done. You put sand in your pearl oyster, you wait until it turns into a pearl, you grab it out. I got a white pearl and a silver pearl. I believe that the color that you get is fairly random. Let's see what Ursula has to say on the matter. If we open up Ursula's Sea Witch Guide. Two ways to put this jewelry on. Yeah, yeah, mirror, mirror. Jewelry. Pearls. How about you tell me how I get my pearls? Uh, it's not actually going to tell me about that. I guess all of that is experimentation. So I'm going to hope that every pearl type you can get is actually random. A couple of cool things that you can do with this. So if I were to grab one of these oysters out from there, I think I need a pickaxe to do that. Hmm, that doesn't seem to be working. 
Can I do it with a sword? Can I do it with my bare hands? Can I start drowning? I can. I don't know how to collect the pearls. Well, I can guarantee one way. If I scoop up that block underneath. There we go. That got me my pearl. And yes, I have now fallen into my room below. That's okay. Not pearl. Oyster. That got me my oyster. Yes. So if I were to stick this oyster here, I believe that these guys can be piped into and out of. So if I set up my hopper onto that side of him, whoa, that didn't work out because it tried to set it up on top. Well, fine. We will do this the hard way. If I grab my hopper and I put it down, and I put it down right there. Now I can use my uh, wrench to point it there. And I should be able to grab some sand. Really dying for that water breathing sigil. But it causes particle effects and you know how I feel about those. Grab myself some sand. Put it in this hopper. And there's now sand in the pearl oyster. Then, if I were to, for example, grab a chest, uh, just a regular one, thank you, I can now autom automate my oyster collection. I mean, my pearl collection. All I need to do is set up an impulse item duct and filter it to blacklist sand. Yeah. These things do not like you standing on top of them, so careful with that. So if I put up, put the duct there, and another one there, and the chest on top. And I set this guy to ignore redstone signal. It'll begin pulling out the sand immediately. Or, no it won't. Hmm, it's possible you can only pull out the bottom of the oysters. That might be what's going on here. Because that guy is definitely set to redstone signal ignored. Or maybe you automatically can't pull out with pipes on the sand side of things. Hang on, let me see if I can set this up with a pipe underneath it. Alright, so from the looks of things, you can set it up with a pearl, I mean with a item duct underneath it. And you can set that to export. But it does not seem to pull the sand out no matter what you do. So maybe you don't need to blacklist it for sand. Maybe when it becomes a pearl, it'll get pulled out. In any case, you can definitely automate the insertion of sand using a hopper. So that part works anyway. Let's move on. I should now have what I need if I look up fish. The fish sorter. Oh, that was, was that not a wooden construction block? That is a wooden construction block. Do I not have a wooden construction block? I swear I told it to make me two. Oh, you don't know how to make fences. Okay. That's easy enough to fix. Fence. Oh, that's why it doesn't know how to make fences, because it's actually not that easy to fix. <sighs> it's always something. There. There. Now you know how to make fences. Good system. So, that wooden construction block, as I've been saying over and over like a broken record at this point. And where is that sorter again? The fish sorter, I need cyan, which I believe is made with bl blue and green. Okay, that's no problem. So if I grab myself a bit of lapis and a bit of the green, which I still have a ton of cactus green hanging around from making myself green hardened clay. Oh, will the stingray not work? Will the neon tetra? Needs raw and dead fish, raw perch. Oh, it needs a raw fish. That's why. Okay. Um, can I kill the tetra somehow and, you know, get a raw fish out of it? Yeah, throwing it on the ground turned it into a raw neon tetra. Fantastic. Now I have a fish sorter. And I could not even begin to tell you what that particular block is used for. I imagine it has something to do with the fish breeding. 
which is something that I hope to do some other time. All right, I need wooden fishing rods. To make wooden fishing rods, I need polished sticks, which require polished planks, which require polished logs, or just require vats of fish oil with oak wood. Which you can do the sticks in there as well. To make the fish oil, I need to use raw fish in a crucible furnace. And the easiest way to get raw fish, well, is actually by doing a bunch, either doing a bunch of fishing or by um, setting up an automatic fisher. Well, I can't set up the automatic fisher until I have one. So that's going to be a bit of a hassle. Let me, actually, you know what? We are unfortunately out of time for today. So between episodes, I will finish off getting all of the food crafted for McOris. And next time we'll get back into finishing up the biologist, which is going to in include setting up a bit of an auto fishing system, I think, so that I can make some fish oil. So we'll do that next time. We'll get the fish oil set up. We'll finish off the biologist. Um, and maybe I'll show you how to set up a, uh, a fish breeding system and enchant yourself some jewelry so that if you're starting out the series and you happen to see this, you'll be able to at least use the mariculture throughout. I've unfortunately ignored it. So thank you very much for joining me. I hope you've enjoyed this episode and I hope that you can leave me a like or a comment or share this video with your friends if you have. I will see you next time.